Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and today we are unboxing the Serval Nendoroid from Kimono Friends. I already unboxed it to be honest, I'm filming this intro afterwards, so let's just look at the video. Alright, so here we have Serval. I got this on my figure collection from, I think Tessie Bear was the username, so thank you Tessie Bear. They do have some other Nendoroids up for sale, so if you are looking for some figures, then um, go and search up Tessie Bear on MFC and have a look at what they've got for sale. Uh, they're a really nice seller, so thank you Tessie Bear! <laughs> so, uh, as you may have seen from last week, I did get Caban for Christmas from my boyfriend and uh, upon opening Caban, who was a surprise, I was like, okay, this gives me an excuse to go and buy Serval. <laughs> and I did get this one pretty cheap at £30, so that's a really good deal. Uh, at least I think it is, considering that on eBay she's a bit more. Anyway, she's really cute. And I'm glad that she comes with Lucky Beast as well. Here's all the sides of the box, and there's the top of the box. This is a legit Nendroid with the holographic sticker and everything. So there we go. Let's take her out of the box. Oh, and we have some uh, information on here as well. Anyway. This box is bigger than Caban's box, which I thought was interesting. Maybe they updated the design of the boxes between these two releases. Oh, and she comes with a little uh, safari background in there. That's really cute. Oh, um, Savannah, I should say, because that's where she lives. But I'm not going to be using that because I, you know, I don't really have space to display a big cardboard background. And for my photography, I like to go outside, so... <laughs> anyway, she comes with a few things. She doesn't come with, like, a lot of accessories, but she does come with uh, the three face plates, an extra hand, and then two arms with uh, different hands on them. I think... Yeah, these are her upper arms, I think. <laughs> yes, these are her upper arms, and that's a bent leg. And, of course, she comes with her extra neck peg, and this stand and stuff. So let's uh, open her up. Now this is when all of the little pieces go flying everywhere, so let's see how we do. Whew, scary, but we did it. We didn't uh, have any mishaps. <laughs> All right, let's get to stand out so that's ready. Oh, she does come with the um, thingy, thingy. Um, I'll get it out. I will put the neck peg back in the bag because we don't need that right now at least. So um, if you look in here, she comes with this big uh, plastic backdrop and that's so you can do this pose. I'm not gonna bother dragging that all out, I mean I don't really want to display her like this. Uh, maybe good for photography but to be honest if I was gonna put lines like this on I'd do it on the computer anyway. So this can also go back in the little bag with the stand. <laughs> all right let's have a look at Serval herself. Oh her tail's fallen off. <laughs> Where does this go in? Ah, there. Her tail plugs into her skirt back here, which I think is kind of a good way to work around the um, like awkwardness of trying to get her tail in. It's a bit difficult to plug in, but there we go. We can get it. I need a bit of hair dryer assistance. Okay, there we go. So that's in. It's a bit bit fragile so it <laughs> might fall out but there she is isn't she cute look how cute she is i love how they stylize the ears on her just like i know it's a bit weird how they have two sets of ears i think this is oh the tail fell off again i'll have to figure out how to get that in <laughs> properly it's a little bit weird how they come with like two lots of ears but i, I don't know it's oh and they they do rotate that's cute so we can pose her ears a little bit um that's cute Let's see if we can try and put her tail on the skirt a little bit better. Maybe I'll cut for a minute and we can do that. 
her body should be able to split in two. There we go. Maybe, yes, there we go. That's, that's easier to get the tail in the little hole there. Let's see if we can do that nice and firmly. And I guess I just have to position it in one way and just not move it because <laughs> otherwise it'll just fall out. So get that tail nice and sturdy in there. Hope that it doesn't fall out. Push it in. I will say the paint job is really nice and crisp. I mean, they should be on Androids. <laughs> I'm not sure when this one released. Uh, probably around the same time as Caban. Um, but the paint job is really nice. As it should be on a Nendroid, but anyway. I'll have a look at when this released and I'll put it on screen now so we can see when it did come out. Oh, ooh, quite stiff. I mean, it's good that she's stiff because then she won't fall apart randomly. I know it's been a problem recently that some Nendroids have been a bit loose, so at least uh, Caban, at least Serval here is nice and stiff. I think her tail is going to fall out again any second, so <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's uh, have a look at her different accessories. Oh, let's have a look at Lucky. Actually, first let's put Caban... Caban... Uh, Serval. Let's put Serval on her stand so that her tail doesn't fall off. Hopefully. Maybe. Um, how does this work again? Let's, uh, let's turn the camera angle down a bit so we can see a bit better. There we go. So, Serval is on her stand now. Uh, a little bit back heavy. Maybe I'll have a play around with where I've positioned her. In fact, maybe if we put her, maybe that, that'll work a bit better. There we go, I guess she can be further forward on the stand. Normally I like to put the um, stand at the very back here, but she's quite back heavy, so I'll put her a bit further forward so she doesn't fall over. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she doesn't fall over. Anyway, let's have a look at the other accessories. Let's start with Lucky Beast. So here's Lucky, or Lucky San. Got a little tail back here that I think does rotate so you can position him a little bit. Just a little bit of posability on Lucky here. Paint job looks nice. He's very cute. And he will go in Caban's little backpack, I think, if he fits. <laughs> Alright, let's put Lucky on the stand over there. Now she does come with two other face plates, so we have the a determined smile one. There's some very faint blushing on the cheeks, which is nice. And she comes with the uh, shouting one. The, I guess this expression depends on the context of the scene. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to describe this face as. Let's have a quick look at the other thing she comes with. So she comes with an extra leg. This one is if you want her to be running or posing otherwise with her legs. She comes with two of these little arm, upper arm, shoulder pieces, a thumbs up hand, and two of the arms so she can do, oh, <laughs> dropped it, do her little um, like cat hands pose. I am impressed at the paint job, it's very clean. Sometimes Nendoroids will have a bit of a messy paint job, just sometimes, just every so often. But for Serval, she has a lot of little spots on her and they are all very clean. And I'm not seeing any really messy areas that are of much concern, you know? I really like how they did the fur in the ears with the like the flat paint. I think it would look a bit strange if they had uh, sculpted fur, but uh, it looks really good like that. Alright, I'm gonna say my kind of final thoughts because there's not much to do with, <laughs> with this Nendoroid like in terms of unboxing. So let's have a look at the different poses she can do and have a bit of a chat about this Nendoroid and Caban and stuff. Yeah, I'll go and gather my thoughts and come back in a minute. So I've had to play around with Serval's different posability options and I will say it's quite difficult keeping track of those upper arm pieces because they all look the same. <laughs> but they are very useful in achieving lots of different arm poses so it's worth the confusion. Another thing to note is that Lucky Beast does not fit completely in Caban's bag and you do have to take his tail off and it still doesn't fit fully, just he's there for photography purposes only or posability purposes, not for storage. But that's alright because I'm going to display him out anyway. What else can I say about this? I absolutely love her little ears, they're so cute. <laughs> 
I've decided to display her like you're seeing currently with that little uh, cat hands pose. So <laughs> that's uh, the way I'm displaying her. I think it would be nice if she'd come with a couple more accessories, but I'm not really sure what you'd give her. I mean, she's an animal, she doesn't have accessories really. Maybe if they've given her maybe um, one of those buns they eat, the Japadi buns, that would be nice. But anyway, uh, not really any complaints about her. She's really nice quality, she's really cute, she comes with a couple different faces. And she didn't cost that much originally, she was 40,000 40, yen, Jesus Christ, she was 4,000 yen, which is about 30 pounds give or take, giving on exchange rates, so not too expensive. And I think she's worth that, she's nice quality, comes with her two different faces. <laughs> so if you are looking for her, I do recommend her, but don't pay too much for her, she doesn't come with that much. I think £30 is a very fair price, especially since that was about the release cost. So um, thank you to Tessie Bear on MFC for being a reasonable seller who charged a reasonable fair amount. <laughs> I am so happy with this Nendoroid. I'm going to position her and Caban in my cabinet, I think like you are seeing here, with that kind of pose. So yes, I guess I will go and put them in my cabinet so they don't get damaged. I'd like to put them on my desk, but my desk is quite full, so <laughs> in the cab that they go. Alright, that's everything I had to say, so thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one, and bye!